To Roger Frisch, the violin is not just an instrument, it's part of him, an extension of his passion for music, beauty, and excellence. Roger's mastery of the violin has put him on the world stage. Few have reached this level of expertise. But not long ago, Roger noticed something wasn't quite right when he pulled the bow across the strings. When I would draw my bow, I suddenly had a shake in my bow. Now, for most other professions, this would not be a concern for being a violinist where your career depends on the stability of your appendages. Uh, this was a great concern. Roger has what's called essential tremor, a nervous system disorder that causes shaking. Concerned, he went to Mayo Clinic where he met neurosurgeon Dr. Kendall Lee. And the amount of tremor he has would be considered pretty mild but not in the case of a concert violinist. Dr. Lee and Roger agreed that deep brain stimulation, or DBS, was their best chance at stopping the tremor. It involved placing electrodes into Roger's brain. But there was a challenge to overcome that created a first ever situation in an operating room. You see, because Roger's tremor was so small, it would be difficult for Dr. Lee and his team to tell if the electrodes they were implanting were in the best possible place to stop the tremor. And so what we needed is we needed a violin in the operating room. Kevin Bennett heads Mayo Clinic's Division of Engineering. His team worked with Dr. Lee's team to create a violin Roger could play while awake during surgery. We built and designed a three-axis accelerometer that we could attach to the bow so that as Mr. Frisch was playing, we could actually see um, a plot on a computer screen of the movement that really shouldn't be there. During the procedure, Dr. Lee inserted electrodes into Roger's brain and moved them to the site where the tremor originated. Once there, electrodes fire electrical signals to hopefully stop the tremor. By measuring Roger's movements, the accelerometer told Dr. Lee if the electrodes were in the right spot. There was no guarantee it would work. Thankfully, it did work. I thought this was a, a wonderful challenge to see if this technology could help in this sort of a unique situation. I started playing right away the day I came home uh, from Mayo. I was uh, back playing with uh, my colleagues with the Minnesota Orchestra three weeks later. Without the stimulator on, um, the, the tremor is quite pronounced. You can see the difference. With the click of a controller, Roger can turn the electrodes on and off. And that's as smooth of a bow as I can play right now. But when it's on, Roger's mastery of the violin is absolutely clear. I remain very, very thankful every day that I have had the opportunity to have had this surgery. And, uh, you know, I, I just do not take it for granted. Back on the world stage to make music, beauty, and achieve excellence. <laughs>